okay you are welcome back once again now we shall pick up from where we stopped now we are going to um, load it so we are on the load definition tab okay so you can go to the load case detail then click on add so let's um, let's rename this the first load that we have let me call that um, self weight okay let me call that self weight and under here I'll pick dead load okay then you can click on add then I will have another one I will call it um, dead load okay then that should be dead load as well you might be wondering why I have another dead load because self weight is also a dead load okay but you know we have more dead load apart from the self weight we have loads uh, we have other dead load like screeding floor tiles and every other thing okay and you know when uh, and you know as far as um swimming pool is concerned you, know, you have to use um it tiles you have to tile the swimming pool because you need to protect the wall from the you know the escape of water into it okay so um the dead load due to the tiles that's what i'm calling the dead load here okay so just click on add then let me have another one let me call it um live load due to water you know in a swimming pool what you have is water inside so you'll be having a live load due to water and you know the water inside the swimming pool is a live load because the water will be evacuated when it is dirty and then a new one will be placed in it so it is the water that goes in and goes out so it is a live load it is not permanent okay so i'm going to have on how many plates do i have i have about um five plates you know for the four sides and also the the floor which is the bottom so i have let me see live load due to water on plates one and then let me copy this let's say control c then i will have life then click on add then i'm going to have another one let me say control v and then that's plate two then just make sure it is in live load add then i have another one control v that should be plate three then add i have um, another one that should be plates four then add then i can have another one that should be for plates five then i can add that one too okay then another kind of load i can have is um live load due to people swimming inside the swimming pool you know we have swimmers okay so i can have live load due to swimmers okay so let me name it i'm trying to name it in a way that i will understand okay and that i can easily remember you can see live load due to water on plate one everybody can relate to that so don't give it a name that will be complex for you to you know to identify because when you have several loads it may be different for you to know which one is which so that's why i usually use the name i can relate to so let this be live load due to um swimmers okay you know swimmer is also a a live load because today people might not be swimming in tomorrow they might be swimming in today we can have two people swimming tomorrow we can have five people swimming so it is a load that vary depending on you know so it is a live load okay so um click on add then we can have um a combination so you can see self weight is a dead load dead load is also a dead load the remaining are live load so let me just um take everything here and then for this first one i will call it 1.4 i mean i'll multiply it by 1.4 1.4 and then this i'll multiply by 1.6 1.6 1.6 okay so this is the multiplying factor i am using it is not a must for you to use that you might actually use yours you know okay it's just um, what i want to use then i'll prefer to call this u ls okay now u l s all right then click on add then you can close that all right so now we have all of the load cases we just need to um you know we need to put the load inside it so go to self weight let me add the self weight under the self weight click on add now self weight is selected already so click on add you know as far as you've defined the thickness of the element the program can calculate the self weight because what you need to calculate the self weight is basically the um the thickness and also the unit weight of the material you are using so if you've 
chosen a concrete it knows what to do so you don't need to assign a particular value it will calculate the self weight on its own so go to dead load that will be the load due to the tile so the dead load will be applied um, on several plates so go to plate load you know we have several tiles you know this dead load I said this is the load due to the tiling on the walls okay so um, we have different kind of tiles and for every different kind of tiles they have their unit weight so the kind of tiles I'll be using I'll be using a 10 mm thick glazed tile okay and you know, with the adhesives you know all the adhesives you use to you know to, to lay the tile and that's about 0 0.246 okay that's about 0 0.246 so make sure that is in local Z. Don't put it in global Y. You can put it in the local Z. So I'm going to add two. This one is the positive. I'm going to add the same one, which will be the negative. So depending on the orientation of the plate, I will know which one to add to it. Okay. So just make sure it is in global Z and you can click on add. Then I'll add another one. For that one, I will just put negative at the front. Then I'll click on add. So I can close that. Let me take away that so live load due to water on plates so this one we are going to apply it directly okay but before you know what that is let me take you to the to the picture okay so now if you want to know the load that will be on the face here i mean inside not outside of course because the water is inside you know the weight or the force that the water in the swimming pool will be applying on the surface will be the unit weight of water multiplied by half of the distance the total length here okay you know the total length of this swimming pool along this face is 7.5 meter so 7.5 meter divided by two half of the load will be felt at this point and half of the load will be felt at this point okay so you can say the load that will be felt at this at this phase will be 9.81 multiplied by half of 7.5 and that load will still be the same thing here okay the load that will be felt on this face and on this face will also be 9.81 multiply by the length which is um you know this parallel length which is this one that is 2.5 divided by 2 okay so um the same thing will be felt here the same thing will be felt here okay so you can just say 2.5 multiplied by 9.81 the answer you get divided by two take one here take one here all right so um let me start with this one so let me call this one plate one so let's go back to um start pro yes i want to save now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the element one by one so let me go to the um the side view and then let me select this plate. no this last plate. all right so I've selected the one at the front and then you can go to view, go to view and you click on view selected object only. So it will show just this element. Okay. It will show just that element. You can pan that. So now let's click on plate one. That is the live load on plate one. So click on add and then you can go to um, plate load. And then you can go to hydrostatic load. You know, hydrostatic load is the load that has to do with water. All right. So it will ask me to select the plates. So just click on select plates. So the purpose of viewing selected only is because I want a very easy way to select the plate. Okay. So let me select all of the plates and then click on done. So all of the plates will be selected. Then let me insert the value. Um, the value, you know, the minimum points. It says W1. No, w1 is the bottom that is where i'm expecting the highest load so what will be the load the load will be 9.81 multiplied by 3.75 that will be equal to 36.8 let me approximate that to 37 so at the top you no know, w1 is the bottom you can see so at the bottom i'll be having a load of 37 kilonewton per meter squared and at the top which is w2 i'll be having zero kilonewton per meter squared so let this be in the local z and i want to interpolate in the y direction okay so click on add but one thing you could have done let me show you i hope this is not a mistake click on close it is the direction of the load so let me try to check okay so um 
fortunately this is not a mistake okay you can see the load is applied in the direction you want the load to be applied let me click on the overview so you can see the direction at which the load is being applied that is from the inside let me put this in side view so if you look closely um you will see that the load is applied on this wall okay so this is the side view so i'm just trying to show you the side view is that the load is applied on this wall in a uh, triangular way so you have the eyes at the bottom and then it is reducing at it goes up okay so that is what we are having so let me put it back in the isometric view so what you just need to do is that you need to be checking the you need to be checking the orientation of each plate you need to be checking the orientation of each plate before you apply the load so that you don't make a mistake so let's go to um orientation symbol and label then go to plate orientation and then click on ok you can see the um, local z is moving away from the wall so if i want to apply a load on this wall using the local z i will have to apply a negative sign load so that i can be going towards the wall okay so for this wall we'll be using negative okay and then let's try to see um the rest what about this this is positive you can see the globe and uh, the local z is going towards the wall okay so that means the other part will be negative the other side okay so you can see the other side will be negative so that is what um you need to do so you need to check the orientation so you don't make mistake of the negative sign all right so for example imagine you are supposed to add the load um towards the wall and you are now adding the load against the wall you know that is very wrong and it will be very difficult for you to change because you can see the load gets splitted according to the number of plates so you have to be changing them one by one and that will take you a very long time save so let's go to um let's apply load to other plates um you can go back to this and take away the uh, the orientation click on ok and then go to let me select this one so i'll go to side view and then i will just select this plate now this one okay which is the back view okay then you go to view and then you go to selected uh, view all right so go to live load on plate 2 click on add we are doing the same thing go to plate load go to hydrostatic and then you can select the plates so just select everything like this then click on done all right and then for the top here we are having minus 37 remember the other one was 37 so we are running along the y because it is there just click on add all right then you can close okay so the load has been added of course you can see it is added um you can see it is added towards the wall and not against the wall so you have to be very careful of that so let me show the whole structure this is show whole structure now let me select um this face so you can go to front view and then just select this one all right so i've selected this face and then um you can go to view you should know why we are using the view selected okay you should know that by now okay so this is place three go to place three and then add so now you can go to um plate load you can go to hydrostatic again as far as i know this is also a positive so click on select plates all right then you select all of the plate like this click on done now the load will be different here because um the distance is different you know the distance here is 2.5 it is not 7.5 so we have a different load so the load here should be 9.81 multiplied by half of um, 2.5 meter so that should be um 12.26 so i will approximate that to 12.5 so let's say this is 12.5 so vary in the y okay and then click on add then you can close okay so you can see the load is also applied towards the wall so let's go to the other wall that is the fourth wall the fourth wall okay then before we do that let's show everything and then let's select it so you can go to front view 
and then you select this one all right so we select this one and then you can go to view um select only so this one should be negative right so you go to plate 4 go to add go to plate load go to hydrostatic then select plates then you can select all of these plates click on done and then here you have minus 12.5 and then y right then local z you click on add right then you have just that then you can close and then the next one is the live load due to the water on plate 5 so let me take let me show everything so for plate 5 um we'll be having a udl okay we'll be having a udl and what will be the value of that the value of that will just be i'm talking about this last phase you know the horizontal plate so the load that will be on that plate due to the water that will just be 9.81 multiplied by the height of the swimming pool which is two meter okay so that will be 9.81 multiplied by two that should be around um, 19.62 then we can go back to start pro and then under the plate 5 click on add now we are going to be adding we will not be adding the hydrostatic load let's just add the pressure on full plate so this should be let's say minus 19.62 then i can just use the global y instead of the local z okay then click on add then you can close you know you can also use the local z in as much you are very sure of the orientation but when i was checking the orientation i only checked for the four plates i didn't pay attention to the bottom plate okay so you can check that so if you know um the direction then you can use the local z and then you now determine if it is negative or positive but i don't want to waste my time so i'll just use the global y i know the global y will always be negative because i can see the global y here you can see this is the global y axis so y is going up so positive is going up that means if it is coming down that should be negative so that is why i'm using the global y so um just click on add so if that's done then you can close so let me assign that so how can i assign that you can go to front view and then you can select you no know, you can select the bottom plates you have several ways to do that you can even go to select and say um select plates parallel to x y or you know just do like that so let me pick this one and then go to assign to selected plates and click on assign and yes so um let's continue in the next video in the next video i uh, will i don't want the video to be too long so in the next video we will do for the load due to swimmer and then we will analyze it and check the results